political school has normally created democratic governance to improvement in the social, economic and political participation in the affairs of the country. Last year in August, Zambians voted out the Patriotic Front in favor of the UPND. But this move has not sat well with the Patriotic Front who believed they were a better governing party than the UPND. This has been demonstrated on the floor of parliament during the vice president's question and answer session. Shwangandu MP Stephen Kampiongo and his Pambashe counterpart Ronald Chitotela have removed their parliamentary gloves and punched holes into UPND vision, or lack of it. Milly meal, sugar, salad, which cooking oil. That's, a, that's how we know it in our compounds. Salad. You assured the nation that when the stocks of traders uh, finished, in, was going to finish in December, people are going to see the reduction of prices. What are you doing, Madam Vice President, to cushion your poor people who are struggling to put food in on the table, which could be the reason why we are seeing some people taking their lives. Is there a fundamental shift that has created that policy, um, differences that you say this, the Minister of Education Council says that, the PA says that, another one says that. Is it possible for a commoner to plan, even those that want to get employed in government? What is the government position? What is causing all this? inconsistent in police pronouncement by your ministers, by your, uh, the senior civil servants at the permanent secretary's level, by your directors. Is it, the, is it the excitement or what is causing this? Because it is difficult. If I... But Vice President Mtali Narumango has pirated the PF accusation by scorning its 10-year rule. Of how the Honorable Member sees our performance and disjointed responses is his own perception and opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us go on. Probably biased. We are one government. We know exactly what we want to do. I sit here as leader of government business, have an idea of what the, the answers are or should be to the questions that are raised. But if your colleagues, Madam Speaker, on your left, choose not to understand and they see them disjointed. I don't know whether you want the Minister of Health to give the same answer as education. But all these go into one. When you talk of multi-sectoral integrated development, we are right there. If honorable members on your left had done so well economically, you said it worked very well. Where are we? How far did we go? with that, you know, uh, approach that they used, which we are also using. We are where we are with the indebtedness. Let us be ashamed sometimes. Yeah. Honestly, let us sometimes admit. Let us sometimes admit. Why do you think Zambians voted the way they voted? Did they hurt them? No. They didn't hurt you, gentlemen, on the left of Madam Speaker. You are still loved by Zambians, but you performed so badly that they chose, that is a fact, they chose to remove you. We have ourselves a master plan of development. To demonstrate plans, Community Development Minister Doreen Mwamba outlined the social cash transfer program, which has over 5 million Zambians on the program. In order to strengthen and streamline the management of social cash transfer, my ministry is putting in place the following measures. Number one, digitalization of the payment process. Since inception, social cash transfer program has been making payments to beneficiaries using a manual system. This has been done through pay point managers, PPMs, are government employees who have been given 
an extra responsibility to disperse funds to social cash transfer beneficiaries. With the advancement in technology, my ministry is deploying a system, a payment system, that will see payments to beneficiaries made through two modalities. These are urban payments and two rural payments. Chiangi MP Given Katuta is proud of the government's measures to alleviate the suffering of the poor. Madam Speaker, in my language we say wishita shamwana wandoshi and uh, because I'm an independent, I speak independent mind, I say good when it's good, bad when it's bad. I want to say well done for digitalizing the, I'm Bemba, so that word. Yeah, I want to say well done to the government because this has been a pain to people of Chenge, though I don't know if we're going to be paid in that manner. While commitments and pronouncements are easier made on the floor of parliament, it remains to be seen whether the beneficiaries receive the arms as expected. But this is a story for another day. Victoria Yambani, Dama News.